and welcome again to our channel Talk Talks for Better Living. I'm Kukwana Elta. I hope everyone is fine and safe at home. I want to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you. If it's your first time today on this channel, at the end of the video after watching, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like this channel, say you like it. And then share it with your friends and colleagues and your family members so that they benefit on this channel. After subscribing, hit the bell as well there so that each time a new video is uploaded, you are notified. So you don't miss any of these top tops for the television. So what are we talking about today? Today, I want to talk about how to look after those new needs you know, within those early hours of their birth or early days of their lives. During early days, it's usually hard even for new mothers or new fathers to look after the baby. Everybody is nervous about this and this. When you touch them, you feel maybe they are stressing and whatever. So, number one, I'll talk about feeding. Our babies need to be fed just like us. Breast milk is number one, unless if it's contraindicated to breastfeed. So if it's not contraindicated, put the baby fat on the breast, give that colostrum. Colostrum looks like water and sticky and looks like it's nothing that milk. That is the first milk. And believe me, you, it is very rich and it will keep the baby going even for 24 hours. Yet it's so tiny. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, uh, babies likes feeding a small, small amount and then maybe every now and then. So as time goes on, you, know, you might find your baby keep on waking up every hour. A suck, 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 and they sleep. And then maybe as time goes on every two hours, and then every three hours, every four hours, and then until they feed on demand. It is highly recommended for babies to breastfeed for so many reasons that we'll talk about in the uh, future videos. So breastfeeding is very important for the baby. And if it's not contraindicated or if the baby cannot even suck as long as it's breast milk. So breast milk, breast milk. So you feed them like that, right? So let's talk about uh, bathing the baby. Well, immediately the baby is born, every mother wants to prove that they are the best mothers. They can do one, two, three for their babies. Hey, and they're great. However, Bathing is not an emergency thing. We don't have to be washing the babies immediately after birth. Eh? We can leave them to rest. So you can bath them even after 24 hours. Just use water. Hmm? Use pure water. No soaps. No all these oils you put for the babies. No, 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 no. Is not recommended. So just use pure warm water. Use a little cotton wool to wipe around or a soft flannel. So that's it. Your baby is clean. So now warmth. We have to keep those babies warm. The babies really like it to be put on your skin. That generate your body heat. Your body heat will definitely warm your baby right so it's called kangaroo care or skin to skin you know just like kangaroos kangaroos put their babies inside there doesn't necessarily have to be the mother even their fathers can just hold the babies on their skin as long as their baby are uh, naked and put on their father's skin that's it and voila cover with a blanket around them and they are warm if you don't want to do that you can swaddle the baby warm comfortably you know when they're swaddled nicely they just feel like somebody is cuddling them <laughs> and they just sleep so however be careful not to overclothe them or put so much blanket so that they are over warm <laughs> so we just have to be a uh, considerate of the weather sometimes we put too much blankets 
or sometimes we put less that you find them cold so babies are just like us if it's too hot it means they will be hot as well if it's too cold it means they are cold as well so go according to the temperature of the day right let's talk about the cord all babies are born with the cord hanging there we do not do anything to the cord in olden days we were using uh, alcohol or spirit to clean the cord every day you know the rationale behind that was that uh, it should dry up very quickly but research says these days we are not allowed to do anything with the cord we leave it like that let nature take its course so so after about five days this cord will just fall off when it falls off the stamp will heal automatically on its own. We don't put anything. We leave it like that to dry off. However, if you notice some sort of bleeding or oozing or maybe funny odor from there that you don't like, please consult your midwife or your doctor. You do not put bandages. You don't put anything on that cord. Just check with the doctor. So, nappy changing. Babies poo, some poo immediately at birth and we at the same time. So many parents, is like a bit scary to change those nappies, tiny tots holding the legs. And da, 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 da. <laughs> so when we change the nappy, we use only cotton wool balls and warm water. Usually when the pool is still fresh, it's easy to clean with just water. It's highly recommended these days, again, as we said, when we bath, we don't put soap. We do not use wipes. We do not put any Vaseline. We do not put powders. We do not put anything on the baby's bum. Just clean the baby, dry it put clean nappy that's it leave the baby comfortable no need to put anything why the same reason that the baby skin absorb those chemicals and we don't want to experiment with our baby so rather stay safe until the babies are a little older right the last one this is powerful one that is about the health of the baby infection control when you come from the hospital everybody want to see the babies want to kiss them want to hug them everyone want to bring present everyone hey yeah 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 is overwhelming so please if it's possible uh, try to control visitors in other cultures they don't allow babies to be seen before six weeks others says three months full others even include the father of the baby because it's believed that he goes outside he meets friends and do things there and come back will want to hug the baby and kiss the baby and get infection you know, some cultures are very very strict but hey why can't we do it if it's for the safety of the baby However, if you can't control the visitors, then just be strict with hand washing. And then if they have got a cold or sore throat or sneezing or all those things, please, they shouldn't visit them until they are well enough. So do you think this talk will be helpful for you or for any mother or any childbearing family? So if you like this video, stay tuned for the next video. Please don't miss it. We'll be talking about safety when handling those babies. So stay blessed and bye for now.